I it's Dwyer. It is December the 7th, 2020. RichardDwyer.co Always1776.com Let's talk cryptocurrency. Let's talk Ripple's XRP. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's start this by being as clear as possible. If I had in the crypto space one investment to make in the current environment, it would be Bitcoin. It is a store of wealth akin to gold. The institutional world increasingly understands this. Right, Max Kaiser? is an authority on this online, I would encourage you to look him up. But I would also encourage you to research Paul Tudor Jones, Scott Minnert of Guggenheim, Stanley Drunkenmiller, Jack Dorsey, Peter Thiel, Michael Saylor, Dan Tapiero, Raul Paul, and Dan Moorhead. They all get it. Do your due diligence and get their reasoning by Googling them online. Now with regard to Bitcoin, the name recognition, the first mover status, the finality of the coin design, the security inherent in the hash rate either can't or likely won't be matched by any other coin in the near future. I also like Dash, which is different. It is a cryptocurrency used as a means of exchange whose daily volume routinely tops $400 million. It has gained traction in parts of Latin America. In DeFi, I like Polkadot, right? And its sister coin, Charisma as they can link different blockchains. I question, but have had for some time, Ethereum, which I've also hedged with a position in Cardano. There are other coins I like, Data Oracles, Chainlink, and Band Protocol, Privacy Coins, Monero, Horizon, Pirate Chain, right? But I want people to understand the volatility, and it's huge volatility, in the crypto world. Please understand the risk involved. I was in the process of shutting down my law practice and told some existing clients that I was doing so when the market turned in 2018. Bitcoin now is just getting back to where it was then. Dash is about a tenth of where it was then. Ethereum is a fraction of where it was then. Needless to say, I'm not retired. I still practice law. Such is the ride. If you aren't ready for that kind of heavy volatility, where your narrative is right. You say, you know, Bitcoin is going to take over finance. But the timing is anyone's guess. If you can't deal with that uncertainty, then my advice to you is to not make investments in the space. Folks, it's a roller coaster ride. Understand the twists and turns. Let's talk XRP, issued by a company called Ripple, who, according to its CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, wants to be the Amazon of payments. Folks, I don't say this lightly. Ripple's making a lot of great moves, and they're well on their way. Understand they have different products. A line of credit product that provides loans in XRP, an interledger product. This is a big one. 
that greatly simplifies the tracking of cryptocurrency transactions across banking systems. Now this is huge and will be even bigger in the coming central bank issued digital currency world. They also have pay ID, an ID which works with any service provider. Technologically, the company is balling, but there is regulatory uncertainty. So XRP is among the riskiest of bets, but it is also among the most asymmetrical bets I have encountered. Folks, it is feast or famine. It is the penthouse or the outhouse. Now within the last few days, the controller of the currency, the person leading the controller of the currency office, Brian Brooks, in a recent interview with CNBC said that we were going to have regulatory certainty concerning cryptocurrencies in the next six to eight weeks. The next six to eight weeks. If XRP is found to be a security and you're an investor in XRP you could lose it all or most of it overnight. Understand the risk involved. As a security, the coin would fall under the jurisdiction of the Securities and Exchange Commission, which has numerous regulatory and disclosure requirements, which would cripple the coin. Ripple owns more than half of all XRP. Ripple would likely have to curtail or shut down U.S. operations, including its relationships with many U.S. banks. But, and this is what investors like me dream of, and understand, I'm not here giving investment advice. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. But if XRP is not found to be a security, this vehicle, we won't call it a cryptocurrency because it was issued by a company, Ripple, and is not decentralized. This vehicle could serve as the perfect bridge between central bank issued digital currency. In other words, state issued fiat currency that's been digitized and the world of cryptocurrency. The upside is huge. Conservatively, the market would be worth trillions of dollars. The coin is currently trading at about 60 cents. Right? Understand, XRP has also crashed, has also been volatile from its early 2018 levels. Right? Just understand that if in the next six to eight weeks there is a government ruling that XRP is not a security, this coin could quickly rise to $10 a coin or higher. You'd further be in the catbird seat during the rollout of central bank issued digital currency. XRP already has a robust daily volume. It has a high market cap. Understand, both would go a lot higher if the regulatory uncertainty is removed. So I'll be picking up more XRP. I've owned XRP for a bit. I'm going to be picking up some more XRP, as you can imagine, within the next six to eight weeks. I might even sell some of my other coins, just a portion. I'm not selling any Bitcoin, but some of my other coins to pick up 
more XRP. That's how I see it. I understand XRP is controversial. I understand philosophically a lot of people have a problem with an investment vehicle that is not a decentralized cryptocurrency but is listed on coinmarketcap.com and can be found on many exchanges. I get that the coin's controversial. What I want people here to do is to make their arguments, whether you're for it or against it, whether you believe it has upside or whether you believe it's all downside. Make your arguments in the comment section of this video. The point here is to get the information out so people can make their own decisions. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.